We're going to demonstrate some of the things that, that we're thinking about and we're talking about um, and, and how our technology can uh, interface with, with solutions that are currently in the market or maybe things that we haven't even thought about yet. And we're going to try to gaze into the crystal ball, so to speak, and, and make some predictions. Now, our, the things that we're going to talk about today are going to hit your pharmacies tomorrow. Absolutely not. But could there be uh, some uh, aspects of this that get implemented over the, the next couple years? Absolutely. We believe that technology continues to have the uh, power and the opportunity to transform your businesses, to help uh, make sure your organizations are more efficient, more streamlined, uh, and deliver quality patient care with less medication errors and more and so that's the power of what we're doing. There are four things, four trends, if you will, that come to my mind, right? The most important is clinical platform. How do we break silos and how do we get people and data together so that intelligent decisions can be made that will help the long-term care pharmacy in particular and healthcare in general, right? And taking that further, think about the cognitive automation. How can that decision making help us in improving the prediction or predictive part of uh, the, the data and decisions that come out of it? And machine learning is a big part. Now, all these trends are not for today or tomorrow. This is a couple of years down the line, or maybe sooner than that. We'll know how that comes, how that technology pans out, right? And taking that thought process a little further, I would say, now medicine is going to be a lot personalized. Like Tim was earlier saying, our music is a lot more personalized, right? So why not medicine? So I'm going to take that thought further and, and predict few things that could potentially revolutionize the pharmaceutical industry in one way or another. And again, we are looking at crystal ball, right? We don't know how which way uh, chips are going to fall. But those are our predictions. And last but not the least is, Patients are going to move along all the time. So how can we have the real follow the patient uh, a paradigm and allow the software and technology to deliver the personalized medication to patients wherever they are, right? So these are four main areas that I'm going to touch base upon in my rest of the presentation. But I just wanted to make sure I lay down the ground for what you're going to see. Can we take that thought further and say, why not use something like chatbots? So think about a possibility where you have framework LTC, where you have your prescriptions already defined and everything is ready. You just need to go ahead and refill it. So being able to have a bot, a chatbot, associated with your pharmacy software, that makes you more efficient and cost effective in filling up your prescriptions and having those medications in the hands of patients whenever they need be. Instead of one having to go through the tedious process of typing things and getting things out of your system, can there be not a better way of doing things? And what better way there could be than just asking rather than going through that complex way of getting those results, right? So here are a couple of use cases that come to my mind. Run reports, find the information wherever and whenever you want it. Or maybe look for your patient information, whichever facility, whichever pharmacy it happens to be. Look for the doctor, is he active or not, and then figure out what needs to be done for that. Or look at your routes and see which route is going to be used for a delivery for a given medication. What's the status of that route and so on and so forth. All this can be done by using these voice interfaces. Uh, one of the most powerful uses, as Sean had described, uh, for a voice assistant such as uh, Alexa or any other type of voice assistant like that is uh, reporting. So when you think about how you would do reporting uh, integrated into our products, uh, our framework suite of products, um, we can do things such as running controlled substance reports. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate something like that now. Computer. Tell framework drug usage. Please provide the drug you wish me to search for. Morphine. 
Please provide a date. June 2016. Morphine was dispensed 3,541 times in quantities of 10 during June 2016 and had a margin of $16,996.80, resulting in a profit margin of 42%. And that's a pretty good case for operations, but what about a business case? So uh, let's try this. Computer, tell framework profit margins. Please provide a billing type. Medicare Part A. Please provide a date. June 2016. The profitability margin on Medicare Part A for June 2016 was 45% and had margin dollars of $563,231.24. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. So we won the first game, right? All right. So just to get ourselves back into the game, right, I just want to make sure we understand what we did here. The voice command from Alexa was actually interactively in real time connecting with an instance of Framework LTC. And the questions that Brendan and Brian were asking were interpreted in real time. Queries were run in the back end. Information was pulled back using API connections, and it was presented to you in real time. So think about your pharmacies having systems or monitors where all you have to do is ask questions, and that information will be displayed in real time, including what you saw when Brett showed the POD, where a command actually fired something on the software side in real time, UI was refreshed, and the status of a route was displayed. How cool is that, right? So I'm going to take that step further and then go ahead and talk about personalized therapy, right? The thought process is patients are different, right? Now there is a huge impetus going on in our partner companies like MedTech21 and others interpret and understand the DNA of a patient. Figure out what's going to work for a given patient. So take a look at DNA, take a look at metabolism, take a look at the demographic, and can there be something like the color palette that we have when we build these PowerPoint presentations? There would be a medicine palette that allows prescriber to go ahead and prescribe a medication in the form of a hex code. So it could be combination of personalized medication. You guys must have heard about 3D printing machines, right? They, this is a 3D printing machine. It prints plastic parts as in today, right? But assume we have an ability to supply components of different medications, right? And then under, I know this sounds crazy, but we have seen other crazy things on Tim's timeline coming to fruition sooner than later. So this could happen, and we have this 3D printer. Uh, it works well with our framework LTC product. So we can actually have our compound speed up, decide what compound we want to print. Of course, this is going to print plastic as on today. But when pharmaceutical companies hopefully change their business model soon and supply medicine or powders in containers, we should have an ability to build this medicine on the fly and go ahead and, um, uh, and, and, and supply it to the patient, right? So I will request Brendan to go ahead and show you some of the pills that have been actually uh, printed by using this 3D print. This is real. Just assume instead of plastic that we got it printed for 3D printer, you're going to have real medicine that is able to be printed. It could be IVs, it could be whatever. Right, but it's going to be personalized. So that was my third one, right? And now I'm going to be really crazy here, right? And my, uh, the spectrum of craziness is increasing here. <laughs> Let me talk about personalized medication delivery. Why not drones? It is not far off. Amazon is actually working on drone-based delivery. We have. Uh, using the route that we opened up earlier, using Alexa, uh, we have a deliver button in here, and we can consider trying to deliver this drone using uh, framework dispatch. 
Yes! <laughs> that is going right off the stage. All right. All right. So what you saw, what you saw was an excellent example of firing something off from the software that has an API connection that talks to a device that's not connected with the software at all. All right? So there is more to come. Yeah, so, you know, so we made our delivery. Uh, right we reached there. the destination, and clearly we uh, <laughs> want it to come back to us. So why don't we try something like this? Computer, tell framework, return stat red. Attempting to return stat red. Not here, not here, not here. All right, thank you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> thank you, guys. So did you really see what happened here? We had a way to go ahead and fire up a drone from our software using the API calls for our delivery one way, and then we use the voice control, Alexa, to talk to our software that sent a command to the drone using our APIs, and then that drone flew back. And again, it's not that this is going to be available tomorrow, right? The idea was to go a little crazy here and think about what it could mean for long-term pharmacy when we let our imagination free, right? In summary, right, we've gone a long way in technology in just the past 15 years, and we know we're going to continue to go a long way. And the whole point of today's presentation isn't that you're going to be flying drones to deliver your medications tomorrow, but it's to be able to show the power of the architecture that we've developed and how current technologies have the ability to connect to other current technologies. And so there are going to be innovations that continue to happen over the next 15 years and beyond. And so the real question is, how do you prepare yourselves and your pharmacies to be able to interface, connect, and to drive your organizations forward with those technologies? And we hope that we are able to show you today um, that with Framework LTC, that's absolutely powerful and possible and we're very excited about our future. And so um, we have very real world problems that we're, we're continuing to solve, right? We're uh, improving connectivity with uh, electronic health records and automating uh, the dispensing from e-prescribing. And we're, there's so many real world things that are happening right now that our customers are gonna take advantage of. But every once in a while, it's fun to, to think about what the future could bring and to get to a crystal ball. So thank you very much for your time and patience, and uh, have a great conference.